Hey, what's up, uh, hobby duders? It's your boy, Roman, with Hydra Painting. And, uh, just wanted to make a quick video. I want to test out my wire mic. Hopefully, the um, sound quality isn't ass or anything. And if it is, I apologize. But I uh, just wanted to make a quick, like, what am I doing video and stuff like that. I had a video earlier, was like around 20 minutes worth of building a looted rhino, a uh, couple of looted rhinos, well just two actually right now, and uh, had this cool little like bit going with sprues and all kinds of fun stuff, but when I went to go up it, so all that work down the drain kind of bummed me out. So instead of just showing you or redoing a video, getting another tank and just kind of going through it, I decided just to make a quick little like showcase video so here is a looted rhino that i worked on one of the looted, one of the looted rhinos that i worked on um if you don't know what a looted rhino is it is a well this is a rhino tank and uh this dude right here uh decided to make it his own um orcs like to steal stuff especially uh the death skulls clan which is the clan that i uh run a lot it's my favorite clan love the blue so they basically find these uh tanks that have been run down destroyed just like burnt out holes and then they like scrap them together and uh basically throw a bunch of shit on them so yeah this is my one of my looted rhinos uh in the new octarius book that came out there's rules for looted rhinos um unfortunately not for matched play but just for regular play or regular like crusade play or points level kind of stuff and uh so yeah i decided to build one up because I'm running a campaign with a bunch of friends and uh, I want to like build some of these things up and run them so um, basically have a uh, cannon from the battle wagon kit this like part here this like big kind of turret part that's actually a, a resin bit from a uh, grot tank and I just glued the cannon onto it put this uh, top part from the docka jet a lot of docka jet bits um like these parts here this is from like the wings or the tail fins of the docka jet these rockets here same thing um like these bits here and these like little battery pack stuff um this is all from a game called robo gear which is this like cheapo knockoff russian warhammer thing lots of cool bits i picked them up off of a dude on facebook and I just like glued them all over uh, for the weaponry more weaponry it's just rockets these rockets are from the um, death dread kit and this bit here that houses it, it doesn't spin or anything everything's glued down um, this bit that holds the rockets is from a war machine kit that I had um, and then I just slapped some gifts around um, painting was pretty simple. It was just a uh, dry brush of a dark steel color. Let me see if I have them. I actually did a lot of dry brushing here. So I started using these um, dry brush paints from Ammo, and they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. They don't really leave that like powdery look. Um, they're like designed not to do that, so that's pretty cool. So it was like a dark gunmetal base with a light metal. And then for the blues, it was just like a generic dark blue, I believe I used. Um, Battle McCrag blue. And then I oops, went over with a uh, this light blue. So these dry brush paints are pretty cool because they're like chonky boys. Let me show you the comparison here. So you can get like a big old brush in here and get to work on it. So big fan of that. Um, and yeah little bits and details here and there some washes and yeah so that's it for this guy i started working on a second one right over here um this one has like more stuff glued on it the turret this turret was from a battle wagon kit and then i just put a lot of docka jet pieces around it um, basically you just want to make it look like shit because it's a looted wagon so yeah um then i have this bit here which is probably my favorite bit because that's like the hatch to the 
you know tank that opens and then there's this bit here that makes no sense but i love it it's my favorite and uh then i got horns um for this rhino so very funny more rockets uh these things are equipped with three rockets and a kill cannon and then i have another tank commander and his buddy dimitri back here um just kind of hanging out so i'll get to work on this one and probably show it off on my instagram or uh, i'll make like a quick little time lapse video of me painting it but same techniques just the um the dry brush paints and then uh, going over some bits and details so that's it for my looted tanks um the las vegas open is coming up and i'm playing in the narrative league so i have a list that is using a bunch of kill cans and death dreads so i know i primed this guy i shouldn't have primed him but this is one of the big mechs that i'm running i used an ambot uh model as a base which is from necromunda and i just gave him all kinds of orky shiz so a uh, custom force field the shiny dead shooter and horns and spikes all the fun orky goodness and this is going to be my big mech in mega armor and then i also made another one because the box comes with two of these guys so this one is another big mech and he has the teleporter blasta and there's his like shooter on the side he's less customized because i was like running out of bits and i didn't really want to continue building building stuff is like my least favorite thing about this hobby so which is interesting because i'm like an orc player so make that what you will of it and so yeah this is a second big mech and what else do i have over here um in the campaign that i'm running um, this duder here, he's going to be a, um, I have a bunch of these dudes. These are from War Games Atlantic. It's a pretty cool kit. Um, they're just like generic sci-fi troopers. And, uh, basically they're going to be ran as my, like, royal kind of guard force for, um, my crusade games. So they'll just be like little dudes running around in battles and stuff so yeah that's basically what i've been working on uh again pretty bummed that my first video where i built this damn thing <laughs> um just didn't want to upload so pretty bummed about that but i, I still want to show something and still want to put something out because i think that's super duper important um i'll have the looted wagon and you know on my instagram so if you want to see some better shots of it uh go ahead and check that out at broman cruise uh on instagram so yeah that is about it uh appreciate the support and uh see you guys around in the next video toodles